All right, first of all, I'm a little upset because I dropped an avocado on after I purchased it. Three avocados for five dollars. I dropped it out of my bag somehow, and it's like dropping what, like a dollar fifty out of my bag. But unfortunately, avocado these avocados are extra soft, and they don't make. It wasn't going to make any noise. I need to be more careful of that. So I've never dropped an avocado before, especially one that I really covet. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be coveting things so much. But second of all, as I was eating <clears throat> the other two avocados, I was thinking about this. The stupid arrest, you know, two years ago, and I'm still thinking about it. It's like, why did the jail even accept me for the charge of failure to ID? The jail should be held accountable, all right? They're told the charge. They know the charge. So they know full well why, why they are holding me captive. And they still go through with everything. They need to be sued. They need to be, they need to have better policies. Because what, how often is it that a failure to identify charge is really going to fly on its own? Okay. You just, you just have to work entirely on threats to get that charge to stick. A person would have to be so scared of the law that they just give in to whatever charge is, is presented against them. But any mild, mild challenge to this is, is going to make it crumble under its foundation. It doesn't hold up. And there, there, I mean, the, the jail, the people, the, the, the warden, whoever's in charge, really, I mean, a policy should be made <clears throat> at their level or whatever and enforced about what type of charges are really good enough to hold i mean if if the cop brought me in for a jaywalking charge entirely a jaywalking charge to hold me in in jail i mean that uh, an unjailable offense to have to have the jail agree to hold on to you to hold you hostage holds them liable for that all right so that's that's uh that's a concern they ask no do they, what what is their policy ask no questions just whatever the whatever the the cop charges the, maybe maybe the cops just like yeah just just hold this guy uh, he's he's suspicious and the jail and the jail does that until you you get a chance to talk uh, to, to ne negotiate with the judge. Because after that, it's it's the only your only negotiation is is through the judge, but it it really should be should be uh, handled before that, before a judge has to to go put you on his docket and his schedule just to have it dropped anyway. This failure to identify a jailable offense on its own with no other extra charges. I mean that's that's something where you you have to not only go after the cop not only go after their supervisor but the people who are holding you and and uh, in my case with horseshoe bends is uh, boise county they didn't have their own jail system the closest one was near what nearby was in ada county in boise so you got boise county that's north of boise city and they held me in Ada County, and they agreed. They were like, I, I don't know how he communicated the charge, but, I mean, he said, oh, yeah, I'm sure he said something like, yeah, the, this guy's, I'm, 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 I arrested this guy, and I want him, I want him booked for f failure, for, or for obstruction? What is that? No, no, it was, it was obstruction, but I think obstruction is, goes into more detail. Jailable for obstruction? And then, and then further detail. Maybe obstruction they consider to be a jailable offense, regardless as as a as a a, a sweep over over all the general charges. But still, I mean, that needs to be broken down. I mean, that's that's just ridiculous uh, to have the jail accept uh, accept you. I mean, is there ever a case where they deny the cop? They're like, no, we don't. We don't really hold people for that. 
that's not in our, our policy. We're not going to hold somebody for a jaywalking charge in jail. Uh, that's that's not a jailable offense. I, I mean, is there anything that the jail will just say, hey, you know, we don't we don't jail for that. Cops make mistakes. I mean, uh, parking tickets. We don't we don't we don't jail people for parking tickets. If the cop tried to put you in, in handcuffs and and whatnot, we don't we don't jail. Do, do, maybe they jail people for attitude if there is some kind of some kind of uh, an issue, but that has to be a charge. You have to disorderly conduct. Yeah, okay, we'll jail you for disorderly conduct. That has to be an actual charge that the cop presses against you. Um, not, not. Uh, yeah, uh, he was obstructing. Didn't didn't uh, give me his ID fast enough, and he was being a little disorderly. But I'm gonna let that disorderly drop. Still jail him for, you know, whatever. There, what's the limit? I mean, I don't know how they work at these jails, but uh, I, I would think that they, they must must have some standards where they don't accept people for, for uh, like, offense, the, the, uh, offenses that are, are uh, just not something that you need to be removed from society and held hostage for. All right, domestic, there's, you know, there's real ones. See, we, the person's a threat to society, okay? But obstruction, failure to identify in time, that's, and then, and then jails actually agree to having you, having you sit while, and, and wait over the weekends for the judge. That's, that's, that's just, uh, that's an excess. That's, that's either a slip in the system or they have it purposely set up like that, and that's completely unfair how that works. That cop should be sitting in jail with me. All right, I step outside my car, and here it is. It fell out right before I got in the car somehow. Maybe when I was shuffling to get my keys, 